Mm. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm running late. I need to get ready. I hope I have time for makeup. Where is my cosmetics bag? Here it is. Wait, where did it all go? What am I supposed to do? Sam! Sam what? I didn't do anything. You didn't take my makeup? As if I need your girly stuff, you better ask Samantha. Samantha will never confess, even if she took it. What should I do? Wait, I think there was something left. Yes, I knew it! Right, I may not get to the meeting today, but at least I'll hide my makeup well. Hi, guys! Most of my makeup is gone. But to make sure nobody finds the rest of it, I've decided to hide it where Sam and Samantha won't look. Inside fruit! Give a thumbs up if you also believe that Sam and Samantha won't find it there. We'll start with the base, liquid foundation. I want to turn it into pomegranate. We'll need this styrofoam ball cut into half like this. Aha! My craft sense is tingling, crafting something without me. No, no, Sammy. I was just tidying up and found the styrofoam ball, and… Oh, you're tidying up. Then I'm off. Yes, yes, go, or I'll make you tidy up too. Oh, no! <laughs> right, let's continue our craft. We'll make a dent in the ball, the size of the foundation bottle. Styrofoam is so soft, so it's easy to do it with your fingers. Like this. And the same goes for the second half. Great! Now let's place our foundation bottle into the dent. Ah, <gasps> a perfect fit! Let's use the glue to connect the halves. It's super glue, as you can see. Not using hot glue here. It can create a gap. We don't need it. Let's press our halves together. Like this. It doesn't look like a pomegranate, right? But this will help. We'll need some dark red felt to create the pomegranate skin. We'll use special fabric glue to attach the fabric to the ball. Let's apply the glue like this in one strip. And carefully glue the fabric to the ball. And we'll repeat that with all four sides of the fabric. Apply some glue… And… Press. Don't rush it, though. OK. Now let's cut off the excess to make sure the fabric fits perfectly. Be careful with the scissors. Don't cut away too much fabric. You'll still need it to glue to the ball. Make sure there aren't any gaps. The felt should cover the whole surface. Guys, we don't cut away the corners. They will imitate the tips of the pomegranate skin. And this will help us make the skin look even more realistic. We'll take yellow fabric to imitate the inside of the pomegranate skin. And we'll attach it to the red fabric. Press it well to make sure it doesn't fall off. There! On each tip, nice and slow. It should look convincing. We'll need some paint and a paintbrush to give our pomegranate an even more realistic look. We'll use yellow paint just like the inside of the pomegranate skin. It looks almost done! Now let's cut the tips carefully. Uh-huh. And another one. Yes, just like this. The last thing we're going to need are these plastic half beads. Red, of course. We'll glue them inside. They will imitate the pomegranate seeds. I won't add too many. Yep, that's enough. This looks amazing! I can't believe it looks so realistic! And it works! I think it's even more convenient this way. Now I won't break it like the last time. Huh, this shade is a bit too dark. I think I bought it when my skin was tan, but okay. So this is the start. How should I hide the rest? Oh, I love this lip gloss. It smells just like… Coca-Cola? Are you drinking Coke without me? No, Sammy, it's lip gloss. Do you want to try it? Oh, no, no. Keep your girly stuff to yourself. <laughs> to make sure Sam doesn't change his mind and doesn't steal my lip gloss, I need to hide it well. I think this artificial banana will do perfectly. Let's cut the banana in half carefully like this. Be careful with the knife or ask an adult to cut it for you. And we need to make a hole inside. Huh. Cement? Hmm. I need my favorite guy to help me. Sammy! Who called for a master ball tray? I need you to take out the cement from the banana. Uh, don't ask what for. Will do. 
could have thought that there would be cement inside of an artificial banana. If you're surprised too, give a thumbs up. It wasn't easy, but it's done. Thank you, my little master. <laughs> it looks great. Only white color is a bit unnatural. But no problem. We'll use yellow paint again. And paint all the white parts. Well, those that are visible, that is. <laughs> While the paint is drying, we'll use hot glue. I need to secure the lip gloss inside the banana to make sure it doesn't fall out. There. Carefully now. I don't want to break anything. And we'll glue the second half, the cap. Carefully again. There. And here's the result. Let's try to open it. Wow! Mmm. Very convenient. Which is your favorite exotic fruit, guys? Mine is carambola. But now it's not only the most delicious thing in the world, but it's also a great place to hide my favorite mascara. I can't think of a better place. To imitate a carambola, we need lots of glue. But this time, we'll use both the glue gun and glue sticks. We need to glue the sticks to the mascara. They will soften and take the required shape. And we're going to need five sticks. This will be the base for the carambola. Let's cut the tips a bit to give it a more rounded shape. But to make the carambola bigger, we'll use more glue. We'll apply it like this and leave it to dry. Don't be shy with the glue here. But don't overdo it either. Our carambola should keep its shape. All five sides are done! Then we need to prepare some water. And now we'll use a construction blow dryer. But please, use it only under adult supervision. Wet your fingers a bit. And then smooth out the surface of our carambola. Repeat it until you get the desired smoothness. Let's add a bit of green color to make it look more like the real thing, but only on the edges. Dab, dab, dab. Perfect. So, are you painting without me? Well, I'm, uh, um. Doesn't matter. I only wanted to say that Gary and I were racing and I won 20 times in a row. Sam, but Gary is a snail. He can't. Gary is the best snail in the world and my friend. Give a thumbs up if you saw the videos with Gary. <laughs> and I'm off to play with tater tots. Go on, take your time. And I'll finish making my sly crafts. I'm going to use this mascara. So I need to cut the carambola carefully. Exactly where the cap of the mascara is. Glue can be hard to cut, so be very careful. No rush. And so guys, the mascara is done! <gasps> Yay, it opens! Look, I think it's even more convenient to use it like this. They say that if you drop your face powder in the morning, your whole day will be unlucky. Just kidding, but it's still quite unpleasant. We can avoid this if we put our face powder into a safe place, like a drawer, a bag, or an orange. It's easy. First, let's mark the width of the powder box on the ball. Hey guys, do you remember which craft we used a styrofoam ball like this? In a different video, I mean. Write it in the comments. Okay. Now that we have everything traced, let's cut out the middle. That's where our powder will go. Let me remind you again to be careful with sharp objects. Oops, sorry, Susie. Tater Tots and I are playing. It's all right, have fun. Okay, hey, Tater Tots, I caught the disco ball! <laughs> yes, that's what we used the styrofoam ball for before. And I'll continue with this craft. Now we'll use some glue to attach the powder to the halves of the ball. I'll just apply some glue here. And press. And the second half on the other side of the powder. The process is the same, see? And hop. Let's press it well. And done! Perfect! Now let's paint the edge of the powder box to make sure it doesn't show. Use a sponge brush to make things easier. And orange paint goes on top. It is an orange after all. <laughs> huh, I wonder if there are oranges of a different color. We're also going to need a green glue stick. Let's make the orange stem out of it. It'll look even more natural. And 
There, I'll just cut off the excess. Carefully. Huh, it's almost like sharpening a pencil, right? Let's attach the stem onto the orange. <gasps> Great! Now we'll use an orange pencil to make small dents. This way, the orange skin will look even more like the real thing. Done! Let's take a look inside. Vitamin C is really good for your skin. <laughs> Guys, here's a piece of advice for you. Never go to bed with your makeup on. Use makeup removers. I don't know what I'd do if my lotion disappeared as well. Luckily, I've got one bottle left. And I want to hide it well. First, I'll need a piece of foil. Let's wrap it around the bottle like this. Carefully. Don't tear it and press it well on all sides. Now let's take some more foil and make a small ball out of it. And then cut it in half. Oh, that was easy. We're going to need more. Yay! Let's take our foil half balls, apply some glue on them, and stick them to the bottle. One by one. They should be glued in a staggered order. And we need to repeat the process several times until the whole bottle is covered. Just what we need! So guys, did you guess what fruit I'm making this time? You will now know if you haven't yet. We'll take some yellow felt and cut it into small pieces. We'll need lots of pieces. I'm not using a ruler here. These pieces don't have to be perfect. Just small squares, approximately the same size. It's better to take felt here because it doesn't fray. So now let's glue some of the squares like this around the foil half balls we glued on earlier. You know, this process is actually very relaxing. <laughs> and… Lovely! Make sure there aren't any big gaps. Let's glue the rest of the squares like this. Apply some glue along the edges of the square. Two of the edges. And then stick it onto the bottle. So guys, did you guess? It looks very realistic. <laughs> Don't forget to cover the bottom with the fabric. I'll add that finishing touch to the whole craft. And there. Right now we're going to need green felt for the leaves. It should be cut like this. Let's attach them to our bottle. We should use the glue carefully to make sure it doesn't stain the fabric. And attach the strips to the cap. There. more. Now the second darker row of leaves. It'll give the craft even more volume, using different shades of fabric. But you can use one shade too. So I'm sure everyone has guessed now that it's a pineapple! Yay! Look how cool it is! <gasps> this looks like a real fruit basket! We can use everything in our crafts, even leftovers from previous crafts. We can use this to disguise my lip balm as a lychee. My lip balm already has a perfect lychee shape. We'll need some glue. Let's apply it to the surface of the balm and make it into a thin layer. And now let's dip it into the styrofoam crumbs. <laughs> oh, they look like cupcake sprinkles! And now let's repeat it all over the surface of the balm. Perfect. Dip. And then we need to paint it white. It'll be the base. Lychee isn't white, of course. Have you guys ever tried lychee? Write in the comments! Now let's give our lychee some color. We'll use hot pink paint for this. <laughs> it almost looks like Sam's color, right? Dab, dab, dab! And, um, let's add a bit of green to make it look even more like the real thing. <gasps> yes! This sponge brush is so awesome! Look, guys! A real lychee! Uh, what have you got there? This? It's an exotic fruit. An exotic fruit? I don't recognize it. Wanna try it? Uh, no. Fruit isn't my element. Even exotic ones. Even pretty ones like that. <laughs> well, fine then. I get all of it. <laughs> Be my guest. I'll go search for candies. <gasps> I think it worked! My makeup will be safe now! That's amazing! Guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up! Subscribe to the channel! New crafts are coming soon! Bye bye Huh. 
I still can't believe I fooled him. Beloved viewers, time for a new video! But, um, I can't find my assistants, neither Sue nor Samantha! Oh well, I'll have to think of something. <gasps> oh, it never hurts to have a snack! <laughs> hey, you! It's not food! Ooh. What were they thinking, leaving stuff like this around? I'll comfort myself with a dunny. Oh, oh. oh no! What's without the yelling drama llama and taking other people's stuff? So, it's you. Did you want me to choke? What are you talking about, Pipsqueak? I made this to hide makeup from Sue. Hide it from Sue? Why? So she wouldn't take it back so fast. Take it back? Do you mean it's her makeup? What if it is? I need it. Samantha, let's talk. Seriously, we need to shoot a video and you're fooling around. You are the one fooling around. It's important stuff and you're just distracting me. Oh, then that's what we're going to show. Oh, come on! I'm not going to shoot a video about it. You won't make what me. What about fame and popularity? Well, fine. I'll make an exception. Give me a moment. <clears throat> so, Samantha, tell us, please, how did you manage to disguise this face powder so well it even fooled me? Sam, uh, take your microphone and go. I need space to work. Right. First, I'll tell you how to hide face powder in waffles. You'll need some polymer clay, flatten it into a circle, make it the size of a real one. You'll need to make dents, like the ones on the waffle. A square lipstick cap will do the trick. Just make the dents all over the surface. To make it look more like a real waffle, you need to paint it yellow. Apply a couple of layers. Like this. And then... And then, add some dimension with brown paint. And of course, you need two of these. Let's glue the powder inside. Be very careful. It's a good idea to take powder in a light case to make it look like cream between the waffles. But you can't do it with white powder only. We need to apply some glue inside. Just go all around the powder container. Make sure you don't stain the powder itself or glue the lid to the bottom. That wouldn't be fun at all. And then paint the glue white. To make it look like the real thing, apply several coats to make it opaque. The paint will add some texture as well. Paint some strips with brown paint to make it look like chocolate. <laughs> now we only need to add cherries on top. And done! Mm, so yummy! Oh, I forgot it's not real! Ew! <laughs> and if you take a photo of it, you can't even tell if it's real. Give a thumbs up if you agree. And now, how did you make such a real looking donut? Not from polymer clay. Nope, I did it with a hair donut. A donut? For hair? <laughs> Stop laughing, it's just hey. a name. Uh -huh. I actually use it quite often. You need to glue that donut to the powder. By the way, you'd better take powder in a black case and paint over the brand name on the lid to hide it. And now comes an interesting part. Let's take a glue gun and make glaze out of glue. Try to remember how real donut glaze looks like and have fun with it. We've got a chocolate donut here, so I'll paint it brown. I think many of you like donuts. Write in the comments, what's your favorite flavor? I do like chocolate. I need to remember this donut isn't real. <laughs> Now, I only need to glue some colorful sprinkles. There can't be too many sprinkles on a donut. And done! I'm not going to taste this one. A donut hair, really? But it's very pretty and a great disguise. Oh, these fake sweets made me hungry. I'll go eat something. Hey, wait for me! Ma! 
wants to have more. I just know it. Oh, I need to find where. <laughs> hey, you, what are you doing? Oh, I thought you were in the toilet. I was looking for some other makeup that you can disguise as food. I love those. I've already shown it. But it's not enough! Make more! Oh, you're so annoying! Fine! I'll take lip gloss and hide it in a cupcake. I'll need a silicone mold for it. I need to fill it with hot glue. First, I will add some glue on the bottom of the mold. This should be enough. Now, place a lip gloss container inside. And fill the mold with glue on the top. Put a lot in! But don't overdo it! And I need to apply some glue to the container lid to make it look like delicious frosting. <laughs> I'll cover the sides of the lid and then add more glue on the top. Mm -hmm. Awesome! <laughs> this is so much fun! Mm -hmm. Let's put this here. Now I will leave the glue to set. Oh, what's this? It's a subscription plane. When it flies in, everyone subscribes. Well, I don't know. I'm sure it will work. Well, perhaps. Right, the glue has set. Time to paint it. <laughs> ah, but let me! I'm the best painter! <laughs> okay, <laughs> I love it! <laughs> More here. Pink. Ah, that's my favorite. <laughs> oh. There. What would you do without me? Paint it myself? Oh, fine. Now I only need to glue on some sprinkles to make the cupcake look more like the real thing. I'll use some round sprinkles this time. I'll do it my way. Like this. And now some more. And shake off the excess. Done. This delicious looking cupcake, not edible at all. Sam, mm, <laughs> you look like a fairy. Have you come to send me to a ball? No way, I've come to make sure you're shooting the video. I am, I am. I'm thinking of another way to hide makeup. Oh, right, the case is just as round as a lollipop. That's it. I hope you are not going to take real lollipops from a poor slime for this. Nope, but it could be payback for your stealing my stash. Fine, I won't do it. I'll use polymer clay. Phew, my candies are safe. Safe for now. <laughs> I'll roll out three balls of polymer clay into thin strips. I really love these colors. I don't. Why is that? Because. Because it won't be a real lollipop. But you've asked me yourself to do it for a video. Well, I hoped. You won't get candies for me. I'm not Sue. Right, I'll twist colored strips together like this and then wrap a white strip in between them, shaping it like a lollipop. Mm -hmm. These candy decorations for makeup will get people craving for candy even without candies. No way! I know what I'm talking about. We need two of these lollipops. Poof! Now I need to glue a wooden stick and leave the clay to set. Take this! A bell? To wake up slimes or put it on your head? Oh, come on, it's a hint! A bell… I don't get it. I think our viewers did. You need to click the bell under the video to know about new videos on the channel. Got it? Uh, take your bell and leave. You slime bell ringer. And I only need to glue the powder to the lollipop parts. Oh, by the way, be careful with the glue gun. You know, it's really hot. I'm always super careful. I've never burnt myself with hot glue, I think. We put this over the top. And done! Oh, simple and elegant! So unlike you! Hey, wait! Unlike me, you'll see. Well then, I'll make the last thing without him. 
I've taken this paper roll from the kitchen. I'll make a case for makeup brushes out of it. I'll disguise it as an Oreo package. Everyone on our channel likes Oreos. Give a thumbs up if you agree. Did someone say Oreo? No, I said double-sided tape. Oh, I'll better go. Haha, <laughs> it always works. <laughs> right, I'll stick the double-sided tape to an image of an Oreo package. Neatly, no wrinkles or it won't look like the real thing. To get smooth edges, I'll make small cuts all around the edges and fold them in. Stop right there! I need that! Yes, of course! I love this! I'll cut a piece of velcro and glue it inside. Oh, there. Press it. And another one. It looks Perfect! Now take a piece of felt, roll it up and insert it. Just apply some glue carefully along the edge and press it. Now I only need to make a bottom and a lid. Out of cookies! What? No, no, no! Cookies leave crumbs! I don't need them on my brushes! But a picture of a cookie will do! I'll glue the images on round pieces of felt. And glue one piece to the bottom. And I'll glue the second cookie image into the velcro. Done! <gasps> what do you mean? Well, here, look! It's just like magic! I hope Sue won't find her makeup now and I will be able to use it all I want. She won't find it if I don't tell her. And I won't tell her if you give me real candies. What? Why, oh. you little slime? <laughs>